Hello, it's your Judge Michelle Fiore. I'm running to continue being your Justice of the Peace and asking for your vote. I've dedicated decades of my life to Nevada Public Service, and I'm grateful to continue doing so here in Pahrump. I'm committed to continue providing swift, tough, and fair justice to our community. Now, why is it so significant to diversify one's collection with medals of varying denominations and values? There are several countries that produce gold and silver coins. Primarily, it's going to be South Africa, Canada, Great Britain, the United States, and uh, Italy. I highly recommend that if you're just starting out, you focus on United States coins. They tend to be very easy to trade. They tend to be very liquid, uh, and they also have a slightly higher premium. The first country that made these coins was actually South Africa. They were mining a lot of gold in Africa, and they got tired of just shipping out bars and rounds for very low premiums. So they started making the South African Krugerrand in 1967. It was extremely popular, and the United States followed suit in uh, 1986 with the American Gold Eagle after they tried postal gold medals, which did not sell particularly well. We highly recommend if you are going to focus on foreign coins that you stay very close to that melt price, very low premium, just because it's gonna be a little bit harder to liquidate those. If you are with the United States coins, you could pay a little bit more of a premium. The United States coins and the Canadian coins tend to be 999 fine or four nines fine, whereas the South African Krugerrands tend to be about 92% fine. So definitely do your research on the, the purity of the gold that you buy. So constitutional gold and silver and maybe semi-numismatic coins, we highly recommend for the broad collector and maybe the new collector as well. Getting a low premium bar of gold or bar of silver or round is going to be uh, an idea that fits for most people and is going to work well in most portfolios. It tends to be steady and have you know, slight gains over a long period of time. That being said, numismatic or rare coins tend to have a little bit more upside in the long run. That being said, there's a lot of information that you need to learn before you get into them. So again, until you are well versed, I would highly recommend staying with constitutional or slower numismatic coins. Coins. How can individuals reach out to Gold Standard X for assisting with evaluating collections or purchasing precious metals from your website? Yes, absolutely. So you can reach Gold Standard X via email 24-7. You can reach out to us at uh, info at bidgoldstandard.com. You can also reach out via our phone lines. They're available Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We also have uh, direct uh, Slack messages, or you can send a, a number of messages on the different uh, platforms we are on, and we will absolutely get back to you within a few hours. Gold Standard X is open seven days a week. You know, we hold auctions through the weekend. We have advisors available Monday through Friday to take any questions or see if there's uh, an avenue that uh, works best for you, whether you're buying or selling. We're happy to work with uh, evaluating collections and also seeing what we can do for you.